All right, welcome back everyone. Thank you so much for joining the Commoner YouTube channel here. We've got a special one today. We've ended the first chunk of our journey into The Last of Us, and we are now about to embark on our second journey. That's part two. So it took us 22 videos to get through The Last of Us part one and left behind an awesome ending, an all-time ending, an ending that's brought upon debates and discussion about the decision that Joel made at the Firefly uh, or at the hospital in St. Mary's. Did he do the right thing? Did he not? What happens going forward? It took about seven years for part two to come out. And for me, it's it's just as awesome as, as the first game. Um, so we're going to embark on that journey here in this video with The Last of Us Part 2. Um, again, I always go back and I try to I try to improving it better because again I'm new to this, so I am what I've realized in the first couple in the first like 22 videos. Sometimes I'm talking about stuff that happens in the moment. Now there's still going to be dialogue and commentary like in the moment, but in regards to any type of like big decision or big event or big character thing that happens in the video that we're watching, I'm going to reserve a lot of the discussion towards the end of the video once we've gotten through everything that we're gonna get through in that video and just do like a little like couple minute talk, a little uh, little talk there at the end of the video and, and we'll do it there instead of slowing down the pace of the, the playthrough in the moment. So we'll reserve that towards the end. Of course I say that and you know, who knows, maybe I'll go blank and I'll start talking about it. But again, I'm trying to get better, I'm trying to do, do uh, make the flow of this better. Um, and without further ado, let's let's do it. Hard. We're not going to do permadeath. And it's just basic hard. No new game plus. No modifications or anything like that. So we'll just start it on regular hard mode. I'm supposed to take her to the fireflies and walk away. If you go halfway across the country with someone. She needed her immunity to mean something. Maybe I was starting to buy into that old cure business. Maybe I just wanted to do right by her. And then we made it. We found the firefly. Because of her, they were actually going to make a cure. The only catch. They would kill her. What are you doing? I won't let you take her. This is our future. Think of all the lives we'll save. Jesus Christ, Joe. What do you do? I saved her. Come on, baby girl. I got you. I got you. 
That's a lot. What does Ellie know? I told her they just ran some tests. I told her. Her immunity meant nothing. And she believed you? Didn't say otherwise. <sighs> we should head back. Hate to kill the vibe, but real quick before we move on here, just make sure this is at 60 frames per second. It is at 60 frames per second. PS5 console only. Okay. Just making sure. Makes you wonder a little bit what what did when Tommy said to Joel, "What did you do?" I'm wondering, kind of open to interpretation. Did he say was he responding, "What did you do?" To like, holy crap, dude, you messed up like the cure for humanity. Like, are you kidding me? <laughs> or did he mean like, what did you do to get her out of there? Like. Holy shit, you killed how many people? You took down like a whole unit? Maybe a combination of both. I think both warrant a, a reaction out of the person that Joel was telling that story to. Can't deny that view. Actually, again, my mistake here for breaking up the flow of this, but let's turn the subtitles on. Story dialogue. Yeah. Okay. Man, will you get prepared? No professionalism at all for this recording.
about what we were talking about earlier. Can't say I'd have done different. I'll take it to the grave if I have to. I'll see you later. <laughs> Jesus, this gave me a heart attack. I, I tried knocking, but. Hey. Hey. What's up, Joel? Just checking in. Folks are, you know, talking about how impressed they are with you and how well you're helping out. It's good. Yeah. Tommy and I went out riding the other day, and he, uh, <laughs> he told me a joke, and I, I thought about you. It's, um, oh, shoot, and I forgot it. Uh, something about a clock. How do you... Joel, it's, uh, it's pretty late, and I gotta get up in a few hours. Yeah, 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 I know, and I'm, I'm gonna get out of your hair, just, um... I, I want to show you something. Just give me one second. What's this? Some folks call this thing here a guitar. Funny. You want to hear something? Okay. Promise me that you won't laugh. I won't laugh. I won't. I'm trusting you. Sometimes you'll succeed to make this man of me. All my stolen missing parts, I've no need for anymore. As I believe, and I believe as I can see.
that didn't suck. <laughs> I'll take what I can get. She's yours. No. No, 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 no. I don't know the first thing I about this. I promise that I teach you how to play. You did. So what do you say, tomorrow night, first lesson? Did... Do you remember the joke? Um. <laughs> what is the downside to eating a clock? <sighs> it's time consuming. <laughs> That's so dumb. <laughs> Good night, kiddo. Hey. It's morning. Sorry, I totally overslept. Just give me a minute and I'll get dressed. I heard you had quite a night after I left. I... She kissed me. It was just Dina being Dina. She didn't mean anything by it. I was talking about your fight with Seth. Wait. You kissed Dina? Oh. I thought this... We're was... broken up one week and you make a move on my girl? Probably just trying to make you jealous. Oops. I, mean, I would never. Oh, fuck, this sucks. I'm messing with you, man. I don't care. Get dressed. You're the worst. That's kind of fucked up you did that. Get your stuff together, we're already late. Hmm. Smells fine. <laughs> yeah, man. Uh, so tired. <sighs> Not a bad little shack for Ellie. Shout out, Sam. Dude, Joel's been going for hours. That sucks. Yep. Can't imagine they got much sleep. <laughs> Definitely not as much as you. Shut up. I was just about to get up. Mm -hmm. I was. You got everything? <sighs> yes. Heads up. You're the talk of the town this morning. <sighs> People are up and talking already? Let me see if I got this right. No one sleeps in here. She kissed me. Which triggered Seth to call you a not so nice word. Yep. Then Joel decked him. More of a push. And then you got mad at Joel. That part confused me. It was a strange night, man. Time. Sounds exciting. Hey, 
so we're okay, right? You and me? Yeah, of course. Dina and I are done. I know. I was just, I don't want you to think. Ellie, we're cool. I promise. They did such, such a great job developing little Jackson Hole here. To really just show off the community that Tommy and Maria have built. It's phenomenal. It's almost like you don't get enough time here, really. Hey, old Tommy. Yeah, get a good scratch. Pretty sure that's Buckley. From part one, Tommy's dam. Joel gives him a scratch, too, right before they go inside and talk to the dudes that are trying to get the power back on. I could just sit here and stare at this forever. I mean, it truly just... What, a, what an amazing job. They make it look so cozy. I mean, if there really was going to be an outbreak <laughs> in real life, like, this... This wouldn't be a bad place to to call home. And also shout out to Gustavo. That is uh, Gustavo Santayala, I believe. I think what my role would be. Oh, hi. A ladies' man. All right. All right, Jesse. The blacksmith. Would I be a blacksmith? Butcher. Just bartender. Bartender wouldn't be bad. I mean, I don't know. I don't think you're getting rich at, with anything that you do here. I would just pick the funnest, easiest job. Yeah, I think bartender maybe. Want to grab some breakfast? No. Where's Maria? In the back. Excuse me. Ellie. People are up early here for the breakfast buffet. Seth's got something he wants to say to you. I don't want to hear what that bigot has to say. Do it for me, please. Seth. Seth, come here. <laughs> hey. Uh, look, last night I was uh, I was drinking too much. Sure. Yeah. And so basically, what that means is you said what you really wanted to say. You just had the liquid courage to do it. He tells me that you and Dean are headed out. This guy's a loser. Made you some sandwiches. Okay. Or steak. Thank you, Seth. Yeah. Well, uh, you be safe out there. Yeah, get, get lost, Seth. We're good, man. We're good. See ya. I appreciate that. What you got there? Bacon sandwiches. Mmm. Smells good. Yours. And I definitely wouldn't trust those sandwiches at all. Okay. I think I'd open up my own place to rival Seth. When you Little go out, I want you to grocery store. Those boys have been out for far too long. Where do I meet them? If you go up to the Northwest Lookout, they're scheduled to arrive later today. Watch yourself. There's too many sightings of infected recently. Of course. Library. Check out the creek trails. I'll need someone else to cover it. Theater. Yeah. You know the creek trails? Not really. Dean has done it a bunch. I'll have the two of them take it. Well, that solves that. <laughs> Ellie. Can I talk to you for a sec? So, look, I don't know what's going on with you and Joel. Maria. Guy really cares about you. And I'm sure he didn't mean to. We're fine. Yeah? Yeah. Okay. Okay. 
Sorry to pry. Be safe. Thanks. Yo, Dina, assignments. <clears throat> Just give me a minute. Yo, Dina, get over here. Hey, Dina. Can I talk to you? <laughs> hey, guys, I'm tapping out. Come on, how long? Whew. Hey, hey. Um... I just want to say sorry for running off last night. Oh, that's it's okay. I totally get it. I <laughs> I just I felt bad. Why? Because I started the whole thing and I just I shouldn't have kissed you in front of all of those people. No, and you were drunk. It's fine. Well, still, I just I don't want you to think. No, I'm not reading into it or anything. Just... You know what I love about you? How you let me finish my sentences. Well, we should probably get going. Yeah. Ow! What the fuck? I'm not even playing! Because you're a chicken? You're a chicken! <laughs> I hate this kid so much. You want to fuck him up? Yeah, I do. You asked for it. You better run, you little shit! Holy shit! <laughs> get your cover! Go! Go! <laughs> Ooh! <laughs> gotcha! <laughs> We're on the board, suckers! <laughs> you suck. What? <laughs> Coming for you, Tiny. <laughs> Why he's got yeah. crushed. I mean, frick, don't tell oh, your you like that? <laughs> oh, I see you, buddy. Oh, I got doubled up. All right, we got to get out of here. We're getting smoked. Oh crap, right there. You think you should get me? Oh, suck it. I'm going to come over there and fight you like for real. In your face. Wow. Oh, we're winning. You better hide. Oh, no you did it. Eat snow. Get him again. Oh, I see you. Oh, what a No care. Wow. You <laughs> said your parents don't love you. <laughs> Jesus. Some work to do. Aww, man. I guess I asked for that, huh? Yep. Let's go. So Jesse wants us to do the creek trails. He's gonna relieve Joel and Tommy. Oh, that's nice you assigned us together. You're gonna like this route. Morning, girls. Morning. Boy, no one sleeps off a hangover in this town. Up and at him. I'll bring him in. Thank you. Stop it. That's a good girl. Look who's here. Thanks. Come on. Right. Hey, Shimmer. Oh, look who decided to join us. Yeah, yeah, yeah. One for you. And one for you. Open it up. Settle down, children. All right. You all know the drill. Run your routes, mark your log books, clear any infected you see. You run into anything you can't handle. You come back. Be smart about it. 
All right. Get going. What were you dreaming about? Was I talking? You're doing your teeth grinding thing. Where have you been? Grab your gear. I want to show you something. What? Trust me. Come on, this way. <sighs> it's cold. You sure you don't want to do this when the sun's out? And it's warmer? No. Can't wait. <laughs> and you don't want to just tell me? You need to see it. That thing's only got a two car on it. It's huge. Damn, that was athletic as hell by Owen. What are you doing wandering around out here by yourself? <laughs> Been restless. You too? I feel like the farther south we go, the prettier it's gotten. You want to keep going? And just drive all the way to Mexico? I've thought about it. I can see Manny's hometown. <laughs> yeah, I don't see that living up to his stories somehow. Yeah, no, probably not. You did all this in the dark? Yes. Now come on. We keep going like this. We're gonna be tired for today's trip. It's not that far. Hey, is Mel okay? She seemed out of it these past few days. She'll be fine. You stop being weird. You're freaking me out. I'm not being weird. Breaking up with Mel? What? No. You wish. Uh, I've had my fill. Thank you. <laughs> you have to Ouch. We can't all be as graceful as you. Really? <laughs> what is that? You'll be fine. It's too high. Come on. Shit. Hey. Eyes on me. Abby. Abby's fear of heights in this Stop game down. puts the fear in you as the player, which is really smart. Owen, do we have to go back this way? Consider it an opportunity to work on your fears. How about I work my foot up your ass? Abby, stop flirting. <laughs> Did 
this it? We made it. Holy shit. It's a fucking city. Yeah. Have you told anyone else? I wanted you to see it first. Saw an armed patrol go from town to an outpost over there. A few more outposts in between. They have electricity, guns. It's a lot of people. We can figure it out. Okay. Assuming he's in there, how do we get to him? We can corner one of the patrols and get confirmation, and then, I don't know, maybe find a way to lure him out. Yeah, okay. I'm sure they'll be happy to offer that information up. Well, then we make them. You hear yourself? Okay, what do you want to do? What is going on with you? I was pregnant. Oh. <laughs> okay. It's not just that, though. Should I say congrats? When everyone else sees this, they're gonna want to turn back. We can convince them, right? I fucking knew I couldn't count on you. Happy. I want what you want. Not at any cost. Hey. Don't. See you back at the lodge. I don't give a fuck. I'll do the whole thing on my own. <laughs> yeah, I definitely get Owen's point there. I'm not sure anyone, everyone would have the same uh, motivation to continue this journey here once they saw that they were about to move on a full-blown city. Probably gonna take a minute here to get used to the part two mechanics. Oof. He got me pregnant. Shit. You alive? Bunch of frozen infected. Yeah. Hey, oh. Oh, <laughs> 
Oh, we're going for a ride. Oh my god. Jeez. Now that's what I meant by the mechanics. Just a, the hand-to-hand -hand close combat definitely takes a... It's an upgrade. It's an awesome upgrade. No doubt. It just takes a minute to get used to it. He's got slapped. <laughs> slapped the shit out of that one. All right, let's get the other ones out of here. I got a couple more, I think. Come on. Where are you? Let's go. Oh, you got more coming. Oh, boy. Damn. Abby is a beast. I think that's all of them. Yeah, they definitely did a, an awesome job upgrading the gameplay mechanics here in part two. As you could imagine that they would do. It's a game they make seven years after the original, so naturally there's going to be some improvements. Don't forget to jump inside this building here, get some health, some ammo. Is that it? Okay. I don't think we care. No, we're not. This isn't a collectible hunt. Okay. It's gotta be close. I read that as three for a second. I thought she was keeping track of her kill count. I'm like, damn. Making this personal. Yeah, we've only scratched the surface with the, the mechanics in this game, but being able to dodge and go hand to hand with these guys is. Welcome upgrade.
Okay, I was gonna say, I don't think that guy's just chilling there. Didn't expect that one to the left there to turn on me so quickly. Come on, this way, right behind you. 